absolutely amazing. Yesterday's interaction session was great. The students responded very well to my speech, and especially their questions were very captivating. Some were about quantum mechanics, some about relativity, some about the creation of the universe, some about current and SI units. They were all very amazing questions, and I can't wait to be back here soon because of how captivating these questions were and how eager the students were to I ask them. Like your, like your they were absolutely amazing. This visit was the first time I've ever celebrated uh, the India's India's Independence Day. So the 78th Independence Day has been a great experience for me today. Uh, I really loved all of the cultural dances, especially the dance of the Seven Sisters, uh, including Aruna Chalpavis. That was probably my favorite. I loved every uh, I loved seeing everybody, and it was an absolutely amazing performance by the hundreds of people who uh, rehearsed for this for hours, even days on end. So I think that this was an absolutely wonderful event, and I can't wait to be celebrating Independence Day again next year. So you are doing it for the team you have enjoyed so much. We are obviously going to want to go to with the kids. So what was the feeling you have enjoyed so much with the kids? Yeah, I think the kids are very eager to uh, take photos with me, and I love that because I hope I'm sending them off with good memories that will inspire them for the future to come, whether they go into math and physics or some other subject. And I think that, uh, especially the child who was sitting next to me during the whole performance, they were all very eager to meet me. And it was a wonderful experience to meet with the children of all of these students and parents and faculty. How would you uh, like to the university campus is very expansive and very beautiful. I, uh, I would compare it to uh, one of the university campuses that I've seen uh, back in my uh, home country, the U.S. Uh, it's absolutely huge. Uh, the uh, roads are very beautiful. And the nature that you're able to see uh, goes on for many square kilometers. So it's been very nice here, uh, here and I can't wait to be you're seeing these expansive forests, beautiful trees and hills, and beautiful people once again. I think this title is very representative of what I will come to do in the future, and I hope that one day it will come true. Oh, of course. So I would like to thank the Honorable Chancellor, um, uh, Dr. Mabubul Haq, as well as the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. G.D. Sarma, for all of their invaluable work when it came to inviting me, uh, helping me uh, get through everybody, uh, helping me get through all of these events, and guiding me everywhere. Uh, and in general, just inviting me to the USTM campus. It's been one of my greatest honors and a great experience to be here, one of the top 200 universities in the entire country, and I hope to be back here again soon. Would you like to send a message? Uh, if I had to send one message, it would be uh, you challenge yourself every single day. Don't, uh, uh, don't look for others to help you because they won't just spoon feed you information. You have to actually challenge yourself. You have to challenge others. Without questioning, you will, will never receive an answer. So that's why they call it Q&A, not just A. So that's why I think uh, you really always need to ask questions. Be inquisitive. You, you love challenges about physics and math, you've seen in your interactions. So, what do you have to say about it? How do you think other students can also attract towards these subjects? I think that per, uh, personally, uh, just there's no need to be pushed to attract, uh, uh, there's no need to be pushed to be attracted to a subject. I think that goes against the whole goal. Just peer pressuring somebody into a subject will never work. I think they actually have to enjoy it by themselves, but if they already enjoy it and they want to get into it a little bit more, but they can't find themselves consistent study habits, uh, you don't have to cram for hours on end. Said just keep a consistent schedule, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, e even one hour a day. Uh, that uh, by itself is enough to help keep you learning. Don't just inconsistently sit there while all of these thoughts in your brain rot away and then cram for 10 hours before the final exam because that's not really going to help you. Your memories aren't really fresh. Your memories aren't really fresh. They're kind of like fruits that were about to be stale but were refrozen. So they, they don't taste that good.
So in instead, you should always keep these uh, thoughts and memories that you have exercising. You should always re review them every day and keep practicing instead of cramming the day before the final. Of course.